James and I found this beautiful Zoranth Felina, and we're going to try to get the best picture we can of it. The first thing I'm going to do is put it on black velvet, and this here is Mosul Black, so this is the world's blackest fabric. And just put it right here. Get the sawdust off it. And you know, it's just a little mushroom, but the details are beautiful in here. So I will take James's camera, throw it on a tripod. And because this is a small mushroom, we're gonna get the best picture if we zoom in with the lens. So probably about this angle is good. And Where's the live view on this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm gonna zoom in all the way on your lens, and then I'm gonna, you got the manual focus here. I gotta hit the switch for manual focus. And so I can focus further and closer, and I'm gonna focus all the way close. And now I just move the camera closer until it comes into focus, and that'll be like the best we can do with this lens setup. I'll try to get the tripod as low as I can. It looks like... There's one that's way overexposed. Let's see, that? Well, I'm going to close the aperture a bunch. We can go all the way to f32, but I'm going to go f14. And the metering is all screwed up on this. As I can see, it's just like a white patch. So it's metering the light for the, ba the black fabric. Like this, yeah. yeah, so it looks like I gotta go like a negative two or something. I'll take this off of here for a second, Oops. see how close I can really go. Okay, that's about there. Okay. So now it's, it's zoomed in all the way. It's focused with manual focus all the way close. And I'll just scoot the tripod back and forth until it's nice and sharp. And I think I, what I'm gonna do is zoom in. So I hit this plus button over here. Tell it where to zoom in. So I zoom in like right there. Yeah, so now I can, now that I'm zoomed in, I can, I can get the focus a whole lot whole lot better. See, this is a really pretty mushroom. So right about there. And then the ISO is set to auto. And since we are on a tripod, we'll want to set the ISO to the base ISO of the camera. And it looks like that is ISO 100. So now we're at ISO 100. So that will give us the best quality image. And Next thing I want to do is set the delay. That's probably in that Q menu. And so, yeah, here's the, the delay. And so, Q, oh, drive mode, yep. So 10 seconds is kind of a lot. I think we can get away with two seconds because it's a pretty stable tripod here. So, it's going to do uh, four tenths of a second exposure. And now we're gonna zoom in and see how this looks. So it looks like we're not clipping because of the histogram. It's not quite touching the right side. That's good. And it looks like, I think we got enough depth of field here. You can try it a few times at different uh, different apertures. Like here's one f8. 
So the lens will be sharpest around F8. So F8 will be a sharper picture, but you get less depth of field. And that one to do an eighth of a second. Looks like all the way open at this distance is F5.6. That's one fifteenth of a second. And I'll also do one F32. And it's gonna to wanna to do it for two seconds at F32. And now we can look at our pictures and zoom in. So this has the most depth of field. It's probably way more than we need. Oh, so here's our F5.6. set. not look as good. F8. I think our F14 is the best shot. But, yeah, that looks really sharp. And, you know, because it's not a macro lens, we can't make it fill the frame. But, so you see it's just this part, but you'll just uh, go in with the GIMP and crop the you know, crop that out. I think I also want to do one. So I'm going to go back to F14 because that was our best aperture. And then um, do some lower exposure. So now it's like a fifth of a second. This will be dimmer just to make sure that nothing's blown out there. And when I zoom in, That looks, I was worried that the bright parts of this might be a little bit uh, overexposed just because it's metering the light for the black velvet. But I'm gonna do it one more. Um, a negative three exposure compensation just to make it dimmer. And you can see that the histogram is more scrunched to the left there. But yeah, one of these should be really good.